you've probably noticed that we did install two different distinct IDEs. Again, IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. So it's just a tool used to code. So the Eclipse IDE was one of the most used IDEs for a long time. The reason why you will see me coding in two IDEs is because I wanted to give you the opportunity to see how both of them are used and how both of them look like. Okay. So as part of being a good developer, you have to learn how to use different tools. I don't want you to get bogged down with this idea of tools. Right? Tools are just tools. Uh, what's really important is the concepts that I'm teaching you, which is in this case, the Java development. So you'll see me in the videos using two IDEs, the, the Eclipse IDE, as well as the IntelliJ IDE. The IntelliJ IDE is crisper, as you can see, and more of a newer IDE, and it's a very popular IDE right now. So both of them are wonderful IDEs. Uh, you just choose one. I would recommend you download both of them as I show you in the previous videos and use one first, uh, follow along and the next just use the other one. And you'll find that there is one that you resonate with the most than the other. And you'll get to the point where you'll be able to just use one, right? Because you will prefer to use just one. And that's fine. Throughout this whole course, it doesn't matter really which one you use, right? It could be the IntelliJ IDE this one, or if you prefer, you can just keep using Eclipse. So the IDEs, the tools don't really matter. That's what I'm trying to convey. What matters is the material that I'm trying to teach you here, which is Java. Okay, so use both, pick one or keep using both it doesn't really matter. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.